Hi, I'm Lou and today I'm going to turn this 300 gallon tote into a rainwater collection system. You can get these from large farming operations anywhere from $20 down to free. This one had a pre-emergent herbicide in it which I washed out in my gravel driveway which will prevent new weeds from growing up but will not kill my lawn. On top there's a 6 inch big plastic lid which we will screw on tightly and then open this little cap here. Into that we put a 2 inch threaded to glue in connector. Next, put in a short piece of 2 inch PVC pipe, but do not glue it in, otherwise you'll never be able to unscrew this. All the rest of our connections will be put in with PVC cement. Rub on the inside of this and the outside of this. Stick it on and twist it back and forth a little bit until it feels solid. So this T serves two purposes. The rainwater goes down in here, but when the tank overflows, the excess goes out here to your lawn. Also, when water goes down in here, air pressure builds up inside the tank and needs to escape through here. Now to collect the rainwater, I installed these gutters in my last video. Take off your downspout. This gutter outlet is about the same size as a 2 inch PVC pipe, but it won't seal very well, so we'll use a 3 inch to 2 inch adapter as a funnel so this fits in like this. If your catch tank is going to be outside, this is a great solution. Mine's going to be inside, so I'm going to first go through the wall with this. Elbow in, elbow out, reduce to 2 inch. If I ever wanted to add a second tank to my system, all I'd have to do is take this T, turn it sideways, go over there, and move the drain line over there too. So here's my complete setup. These tanks are designed to be stacked on top of one another, and this one's empty, but I'm just using it to prop this up to give better gravity feed. The water comes in up there, goes in through here, and then overflow goes out there, down the back, and outside. If you're curious, my next project is a surfing machine. There's a spigot here at the bottom of the tank that we'll use to get the water out. Unscrew the cap. Screw on a two inch threaded to glue on connector. Glue in a two inch to inch and a half threaded connector. Screw in an inch and a half to garden hose connector. And screw on your garden hose. Okay, we're getting a pretty steady rain. And just look at our water rolling in. Wow, that same light rain has been running for about three hours now and we already have 150 gallons of water collected. Turn on our valve. And there's our water flow. Thanks for watching. Good luck making your water collection system.